Hey guys, KJ4YZI here. A little quick video on the 7300. A few questions and people have asked, uh, well, they said, I want to get a 7300 or I did get a 7300 and they want to work digital modes and now they're confused as to what digital interface to buy, the signal ink or a rig runner or a rig blaster or whatever. Actually, it's all included in this radio. You don't need to use an external sound card. All you need is a USB cable that goes from the back of this radio to a USB board on your computer. The sound card is built in. Everything can be adjusted on that sound card in this radio in the set menu. In the set menu, you go to connectors, and there's four pages here of uh, different settings for you know, digital operation for PSK and RIDI and such. Now, this is stock. I haven't touched the connectors page in here. I've left everything the way it is. And if you want to look at it here, you know, I have uh, the output level is 50%. Um, I have, uh, you know, everything is at 50% the way it is. These are the settings I have. This is probably the only most important right here is the CIV address. Now the CIV, excuse me, the CIV address is basically the address of the radio that the software is going to communicate with. So I'm using Ham Radio Deluxe. I have, uh, I, I don't use it hardly much at all. I only use it for um, the digital modes. I really don't care to control my radio from my computer. I'm a knobs and screen on the radio kind of guy. But you usually have to have uh, HRD running to connect your radio to the digital programs. It's the middleman. So this, it just so happens that the version of Ham Radio Deluxe I have it was the last free version before they made it paid. And they didn't have an entry for the 7300 in there. So I'll show you that here in a second, how I set it up. And a newer version of HRD may have all the settings in there ready. But the CIV address, 74H, that's pretty much the, let's call it the COM port, rather, of what the radio is. And then you're going to direct your software to talk to CIV address 74H. Okay? This is not 74H by default. It's actually like 93H. So what I did was I dropped it down. You, know, you could change the address here. I made mine 74H. And then I'll show you on the HRD software what I did. I'm actually telling it it's a 7700 and the address is 74H. And it thinks that's what it's talking to. That's how I get the 7300 connected. If you have a different software or an updated version of HRD, you may have all the settings in the program to get that done. But this is basically probably the most important thing that you'll need to know is the address here. Let's start HRD here, and this is the version I have, 5.24.0.38. This is the last free version before they made it a paid license. I've chose to never upgrade. I just don't use this much unless I'm using digital modes. So support your creator of content, but I'm cheap on this topic. So. In here, when, when this free version came out, they didn't have the 7300 yet, so there was no entry or preset for an ICOM 7300, okay? You could choose here by which radio you want, you know, that you have and whatever. But the preset I made, this is how I connected my 7300. Now, in the newer versions, there may be a preset already, and you don't have to do all this. But what I did with the old version is I made a preset for an ICOM 7700, on COM7, which is the COM port that I have for the sound card of the radio. When I plugged it in, that's the COM port it shows. Speed is 19.2 baud, and the CIV address is 74. You remember on the radio I chose 74H. That's the CIV address. So, the, the program here says, hey, we're going to connect to a 7700, but essentially, this line right here, is going to also talk to the 7300. Again, you may have a program that has options for the 7300. I'm just showing what I have because you may look at this and say, wait a second, why is it 7700? So I had to kind of fool the program to talk to the radio because the program didn't know there was a 7300 at the time. So I should just be able to click connect and you'll see it boots right up in and connects. Now I'm connected to cat control on my computer right now. And you can see if I turn this dial on the radio, I can adjust the frequency of the, you know, screen here. Okay, and 
really a lot of people do use computer control right here. Maybe they're visually impaired. Maybe they have the radio on the other side of the desk and they want to change bands like this by clicking here. Or they want to, you know, turn on compression or change their mic gain down here. I like to do everything from the front of the radio. So I really don't use this on HRD to control my radio. What I use this for is a middleman. Let me show you. Up here, there's Digital Master. Digital Master is the program that's incorporated with Ham Radio Deluxe. I've always used it. That's what I'm familiar with. That's what I've always used. It'll do pretty much everything except JT65 and FT8. Those you have to have a different program. Everything else, PSK, Ready, Contestia, Olivia, all can happen right here. So once I load Digital Master, I don't really need this other cat control screen in the back. All that is is HRD is becoming the middleman. It's saying, hey, hey, radio, Digital Master wants to transmit. Go ahead and go into transmit. It's the middleman in between the two. I'm mostly interested in this program here. And you can see that I'm already receiving a signal. That's the sound card on USB that is going into my computer. And Digital Master is turning it into a visual here on the screen. So, again, a lot of people may not be aware of PSK or Ready. Maybe you're new to the hobby and all you've heard about is FT8. But there's a lot. Look at this. Look at the modes here. There's a lot of different modes. PSK, Contestia is great. Uh, Domino X is very rarely used, but it's still good. Hell Schreiber, uh, MFSK, uh, Olivia, Riddy, Thor, Thrott. I mean, there's a lot of digital modes here. And it's hard to ever find some on these other ones. So I only use uh, the, the ones that are most popular. Although I've tried using every single one of them. Uh, so the without making a whole video on how this works, what you need to know is if you go into Tools, and you go into program options. This is where you really need to set up so that the digital master knows what's happening. You may not have this right here on the waterfall when you first turn it on for the first time. So what you need to do is go to sound card first and this is where the program is going to choose where to listen and where to transmit the signal. You can see the input and the output both have this USB audio codec. That is the sound card on USB in your 7300. If I choose some other option, you're going to see I lose my waterfall because it's not listening on the appropriate port for the signal from the radio. So if you have that and it says you're connected on HRD, you, you, there's something either wrong with this setting or with the output in the settings on the 7300. We're going to go back to USB audio codec. And the same will apply if you use a radio that doesn't have a USB input, but you have a signal link or an MFJ sound card then you'll do the same thing. When you plug in your signal link, it'll come up with a COM port, and you're going to choose that COM port here. But because it's built into the 7300, there it is. The next thing you need to know is the PTT. Now, this is what connects Digital Master to Ham Radio Deluxe. This is the uh, setup for that. So I don't know why it always takes a second to load when I click PTT. Now, this is what's going to key the radio. Okay, and you could either do it with a COM port, you could do it with Vox, or you could do it with Ham Radio Deluxe. Now, if you haven't configured this, you want to configure HRD for this program. This is by default, localhost is the address, 7809 is the port. Once you hit connect, it should connect and show you that it's connected to Ham Radio Deluxe. Basically what it's doing is, with this address and port, it's looking on your computer for a local instance of HRD running, and that's what this is. You could do this over network, a local network, and run it in another room if you wanted to. If you had your laptop upstairs and you had your computer downstairs, you could set this up with a local address, but I haven't really messed with that, so I don't know much about, about it. Um, Anyways, now you have so far the, the sound card and the PTT setup, and it's connected. Everything else in here is just for setup as far as, you know, your information, call sign for macros and stuff. But you should see at this point this right here. I have one strong signal here. 
So just a video to show you that it's very possible just with a radio and your computer to get on digital modes. And by the way, if you ever see this, I mean, this guy's signal's real hot. It's either overdriving or the audio's way up there, but you can see it. It's It seems like it's very, very wide. And uh, sometimes if your ALC is way too hot or you're really pumping audio into that radio, it'll look like this. A lot of times you see signals over here like this and you can see that it even decodes this guy here when it's noisy but a couple stations this morning on PSK this guy over here was 1447 miles away uh, I don't know how much power he's using I usually use no more than 30 watts on PSK but you can do whatever you want just uh, try to keep your ALC under control so you're not overdriving the radio and splattering all over the, the uh, waterfall here so 7-3 and hope to uh, one day here real soon, working on PSK. Maybe we'll have a little get-together on a net for PSK on HF. 7-3, KJ4, YZI.